This is the eighth week of our beginner's Pilates challenge. Welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapists. It's been eight weeks ago since we started this challenge from 15 minute beginner's fundamentals. And today we will be doing 50 minutes. So it's gonna be a five minute progression increment. It's been eight weeks. You guys have been doing great. Me and Abel are happy that you are joining us. And if this is your first time and it's just a beginner, then go back to my fundamentals, Pilates challenge that you'll see on my <laughs> Pilates workout playlist. So get your mat ready and join me and Mr. Abel. Okay, friends, we're gonna start with your hands and knees to engage your core muscles. Hands down, open your fingers out to stretch your fingers, knees apart. Keep your head down, you take a deep breath, engage your abdominal muscles and your core by inhaling through your nose, through your diaphragm. And then slowly look up, stretch your low back muscles, stretch your spine, lengthen and blow. Inhale through your nose, belly button in, tighten your, your glutes, and slowly look up and blow. Feel that low back muscles being stretched. Inhale, squeeze as hard as you can, and slowly look up and blow. Tighten your core muscles, your abdominals. Engaging them more with your breaths. Inhale. And blow. It's nice to warm up your core muscles first and your back. So you're ready to tackle our core stability beginners 50 minute workout today. And blow. Inhale. Belly button in and blow. Inhale, belly button in and down, blow. Take a deep breath through your nose up and down, blow. Last one, take a deep breath, belly button in and down, blow. Now we're going to do gentle extension of your hips, lengthen, we'll do alternating hip, take a deep breath and down blow, left warm up your hips, feel that stretch in your low back area and down blow, inhale, the slower the better, we're doing it gently, if you're having knee pain, kneeling then don't do this skip this part and go to the next one where when you're not lying on your when you're not kneeling so inhale belly button in squeeze as hard as you can and blow a deep breath belly button in and blow and now kick this out slowly open to the side and circle down back take a deep breath open and down lift and your right and down to tabletop kick up bend to the side and down so it's doing a nice circle on your hip round and down kick back bend and round Take a deep breath, lift, straighten your knee, bend to the side, and blow. Kick with your left, bend, and down. Now kick, hold it here, and we'll do small isometrics. Lift, gentle lift, 10 times, four, five. Try to control, engage your core muscles, pull your belly button in. Try not to rock too much on your spine. Nine. 10 and down now left side take a deep breath lift one two three 
four seven eight nine ten and down and now we're gonna do some child pose slowly sit on your tush forward on your spine lengthen gently take a deep breath and blow one more breath take a deep breath and blow now we're gonna do elbow plank go to your elbows hands down straighten your knee keep your shoulder and pelvis level and we hold this for 30 seconds take a deep breath and blow inhale belly button in engage your abdominals and blow breath and blow inhale through your nose deeply and blow holding this elbow plank position stability it's really difficult if this is too hard then just go back on the mat with your belly touching the mat and just do alternating hip extension lift with your knee straight take a deep breath and down blow inhale blow last one and blow and then down and child pose stretch your shoulders inhale and blow take a deep breath and blow one more breath now on your elbow again now we're gonna do like a mountain climber but gently tap to the side one while you're on your elbow plank two three we'll just do five times each leg four last one five five and then down on your stomach now and now we're gonna be on the cobra position on your elbow still and we're gonna do single knee bend so one two down turn your head where you're bending your knee one two and down back to the center turn your head to the right bend your right and quick quick bend isometric one two down with your breath inhale left take a deep breath right inhale and blow two and blow breaths and blow inhale through your nose and blow two small breaths in bend and quick turn your head now we're gonna do double Turn your head to the right and double bend. Inhale and turn to the left and belly button in. Inhale and feel that beautiful stretch. Inhale and belly button in. Engage your core and blow. It feels so good in your spine and blow. If you're having back pain, stop. Then do the other exercises that we have safe for you. For your joints take a deep breath bend and blow turn your head where you're bending and blow you're alternating this is good for your neck muscles and your spine and last one take a deep breath and blow now slowly straighten your elbow straight and we'll do swimming right hand left leg inhale and down blow left hand right leg up inhale and reach as far as you can with your hand lift as high as you can as well inhale and blow one breath one motion inhale and blow belly button in and blow engage your core and blow inhale and blow belly button as high as you can and left alternating inhale through your nose and down blow Inhale, so left arm up, right leg up, and blow. One breath, one motion. Engaging your core with your breaths, and blow. 
left arm, right leg as high as you can and blow. Inhale through your nose, belly button in and blow. Take a deep breath and blow. Belly button in and blow. Inhale and blow. Belly button in feels so good in your low back area. Inhale and blow. Inhale through your nose, blow. Belly button in, blow. Inhale and blow. Now we're gonna do seal. Bend your elbows and back. Elbows towards your back and your knees bent. Slowly inhale and slowly blow, reaching forward again and lowering your feet down. So everything straight. And inhale again. Squeeze your elbows together and your knees. Squeeze your glutes, belly button in, and then slowly and look up gently to engage your core, and down blow. Inhale through your nose, bleed, and down blow. Inhale through your nose, engage your core, abdominal bracing, squeeze your glutes, and down blow. Inhale through your nose. Squeeze as hard as you can and down blow. Belly button in, squeeze. And blow. Inhale through your nose and down blow. Inhale, squeeze as hard as you can and down blow. Two more to go. Squeeze, lift your body if you can. And blow. Last one. Deep breath. Squeeze your glutes. Lift as high as you can. Now you can go further. And down blow. Now we'll go back to child pose to stretch your low back muscles. And down. Inhale. And blow. Last breath. Inhale. And blow. Now we're going to your hands and knees and to your feet. We're going to do downward dog. Stretch your calf muscles. Hold it in this position. Take a deep breath and blow. Stomach in. Squeeze your glutes. Stretch. Keep pushing it down. And pushing your head down more to get, to get a good stretch on your calf. And blow. We're gonna go to a plank position on your hands, leveled shoulder and hips squared together. And now we're gonna lift your right, lift as high as you can. Take a deep breath and slowly reach with your right elbow and blow. Take a deep breath up and bell button in and Lift with your right, take a deep breath, as high as you can, and slowly reach on your right elbow and blow, slow and gentle. Take a deep breath, go up, inhale through your nose as high as you can, and reach on your right elbow with your right knee. Inhale through your nose, belly button in, as high as you can, and blow, reaching on your right elbow with your knee lift as high as you can inhale through your nose feel that lovely stretch on your calf muscle on your left where you're standing and reach on your right elbow inhale through your nose lift as high as you can still engage your core pull your belly button in and then slowly reach and blow take a deep breath through your nose as high as you can and reach last one and now let's go to the left reach with your left as high as you can slowly reach on your left elbow if you're sliding with your mat do it gently be careful so try not to fall or twist your knee take a deep breath lift slow and control it's not about speed, 
It's about control and breaths and blow. Take a deep breath, lift, slow and control. Feel each of your muscles and your whole body work together. Inhale up as high as you can. Push your head down to get a good stretch on your right leg this time. Inhale deeply and blow. Slowly go up as high as you can. Feel the stretch on your calf on your right and your hip flexors on the left. Take a deep breath and down blow. If you can't reach your elbow with your knee, that's fine. Unless you're trying, I know the slower, the harder it is. And that's one. And blow. Now we're in our plank position again. And hold this for five breaths. Inhale. This is core stability, so this really targets your core. Just holding it together. And blow. Inhale. Pull your belt button in, engage it more. Oh. Two more. Inhale. And blow. Slowly lower your knee down, both knees. And child pose again to stretch your low back. And now we're going back again to your plank on your hands if your wrists are hurting you can take a breather by going to your elbows up back and down we're gonna do some knee dip slowly bend your knee down inhale and lift roll down four five feel your shoulders and your core six to 10 times, 7, 8, 9, last one, 10, and down to child pose, stretch them out, and now we're going to our sides, let's start with your left side first facing me, there you go, and now we're going to do some lovely side exercises, let's start with the clamshell, Engage your core and open. One, two, put your feet together. Engage your core, feel your breaths. Inhale. Inhale. That's lovely. And now lift your arm, open, and close. Take a deep breath and blow. And now we're going to progress with lifting your feet up and close and open. Inhale and blow. Core stability. And blow. Inhale and blow. Belly button in. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. And kick. And reach and bend like a frog in side lying. Inhale. Belly button in. Squeeze as hard as you can. And reach. Inhale and blow. Belly button in and reach. Inhale through your nose and blow. Belly button in and blow. Inhale through your nose. Squeeze as hard as you can. Nine. Last one. And ten. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. And down. Go to your elbow. We're going to do some side planks. We can start with the modified first with beginners like this and overhead one. Take a deep breath. Two, three, four, and five. And progress with reaching your knee and your elbow and reach one, two, three, four, and five. Knees together again and reach. Twist one, two with your breaths, four, five, and now we're gonna lift one, two with your knee straight, reach overhead and lift three, four, 
last one and hold it there five four three two one and down now we're gonna do some dips side dips so now we straighten your knee and you can put your hand here to stabilize or up or put your hand here for beginners and dip one two so you can challenge yourself three four five six seven eight nine ten and down and that's a good core stability on that side let's go to the other side let's do some clamshell and open one two open as wide as you can engage your core three four five take a deep breath six seven eight nine and ten and progress with your leg up and use your arms to stretch more one two three take a deep breath four five six seven deep breath open inhale and blow up in your hands if you like to stretch your shoulders as well engaging your core muscles with your breaths and blow breath Feel your abdominal bracing, tighten your stomach, engage your abdominal muscles and blow. And now we're going to progress feet up, down and open. Inhale deeply and blow. Deep breath. You love the stretch on your glutes muscles, stretching your groin, challenging your muscles. Blow. Inhale and blow. Hold it here. Five, four, two, one. And now on your elbow, lift up on your knees. And you're going to do overhead. One. Stretch your shoulder. Two. Belly button in. Engage your core. Four. And now we're going to engage our knee. Pull your elbow towards your knee and kick. And one, belly button in, two, engage your core muscles, three, four, and five, and down, and go underneath, twist, and look up, one, two, three, four, last one, and five, and down, and now you're going to knee straight and you're gonna lift up this is gonna be harder overhead one so it's a lot of planking to core stability three four has a lot on your shoulder as well and you're gonna kick one two three four and five and down and now going back to your Knee again, so we're gonna do lift up like this one, two, three, four, last one, and five. And we're gonna do some dip side plank dip lift. If you have difficulty, hold on to the mat. If you can challenge, you can lift. We'll do it ten times four, five, feel the burn, six, seven, obliques. 9, 10, and down. And now we're going to lie on your back. We're going to start engaging our core muscles more for core stability. Overhead, take a deep breath. Lift your hands up, fainting, and tabletop position. So we're going to do some tabletop. Double both feet and knees. This is double tabletop. And slowly go down. Breathing through your nose and blow. Control slowly down. So inhale slowly, go up. Get deep breath. 
you're having low back pain, stop. And you can always modify this by just lowering your feet straight down on the mat, touching like this. Just tapping. But if you're ready and you've been joining me for the past eight weeks, then maybe you're ready now. Lowering all the way down. But if you have low back pain, chronic back pain, then sometimes this is still too challenging if you have back surgeries or back low back pain diagnosis from your doctor so be careful in doing the double tabletop sometimes it's too difficult <laughs> take a deep breath and slowly go down and blow All right pull your in to engage your core muscles more inhale belly button in and down blow belly button in take a deep breath up you're doing great guys this is hard work but you know the results will be amazing blow breath belly button in and slowly go down and blow inhale through your nose belly button in slowly go down and blow through your mouth up I'll hold on this double tabletop position and slowly straighten your right leg up, knee straight, inhale, and down blow. Belly button in and blow. Inhale and blow. Left leg straighten and back to tabletop. Kick with your right and then back to tabletop. So it's a nice stretch on your hamstrings. And blow. Belly button in and blow. Take a deep breath. And blow and now you can challenge with lifting your hands overhead kick up and back control core stability it's not about the speed it's about the control and being stable on your core feel the burn so overhead with your right kick with your right and back center and blow take a deep breath belly button in and blow Inhale, and blow, take a deep breath, and blow. Now we're going to put your hand down here. And we are going to straighten your leg up straight. And now we're going to do circle, outward, both legs, medium size, and back to the center. Take a deep breath, open gently, and blow. Back to the center, take a deep breath. Blow, button in, engage your core, and slowly go up, blow, take a deep breath, feel the burn in your lower abdominal, that core to be stable, and blow, and now we'll do reverse circle, both legs up, board, and blow, if this is too difficult for you, you can do one leg at a time with your knee bent to stabilize. So it's not too much and make it small circle. But if you want to join me now and you're ready, we've been doing this now for the past few weeks now. Eight weeks actually, not just few. So it's a lot of work. Last one. And blow. And gently go down. And now we're gonna do bridging overhead. Your hands. Slowly lift, take a deep breath. Pull your belly button in. And slowly go down overhead and blow. Inhale through your nose, belly button in. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your stomach, and then slowly go down one vertebrae at a time and blow through your mouth. The slower, the better. Inhale through your nose, belly button in. Squeeze your glutes, and then slowly go down. One vertebrae at a time and blow. Inhale through your nose. Belly button in. And slowly go down and blow. Inhale through your nose. Lift as high as you can. And now hold it in this position. And slowly open your hands and your knees apart. And blow. Keeping it in the bridging position. And back to the center and blow. And we're gonna open again. Take a deep breath. 
belly button in, squeeze as hard as you can, and blow. Inhale through your nose, keep the bridge, core stability, open and back to the center and blow. Take a deep breath, open your arms apart, knees apart, still in the bridging position, and blow. And now slowly go down and overhead with your hands. And now bridge again, up, and this time we're going to kick with your right leg first, kick up while in the bridge on one leg, inhale, and then back down, blow. Keep the stability, control, core, control, it's a lot of controlling your core, keeping your pelvic square together, squared, and not uh, tilting on one side, keeping it stable and in control. So keep the bridge, kick with your right, keep it straight, stable on one leg, and gently go down and blow. Left leg, take a deep breath, lift with your right, you feel one, and kick. Take a deep breath, and blow. Belly button in, feel the burn on your glutes, and blow. Core stability, try not to swing too much, keep it up and leveled, and blow. Last set, take a deep breath, kick with your left, and then kick with your right, and slowly go down and blow. Now we're gonna do hundreds. So hundreds means 100 breaths. We're gonna take five breaths in through your nose and five breaths through your mouth while moving your arms up and down without twisting your wrist or your elbow. It's all about your shoulder and your lats. So you take a deep breath in for beginners. You can just start with this position so you're not gonna strain your neck and back. Inhale five and five breaths blow it's important to incorporate breaths learn how to do breathing first before challenging yourself for core stability and blow because your breaths is our core one of the core of his diaphragm and i want you to engage it well while tightening your abdominal muscles so take a deep breath five breaths in and five breaths out blow Hundreds means hundred times you're gonna tap and breathe and breaths. So you can challenge now with your chin tuck in, pulling your core here on your upper abdominal and your diaphragm. But if your neck is hurting, it means you're using your neck muscles instead of your core. And then you can always go back like this and blow. But if you feel like you're ready, you can join me now. And slowly we're gonna progress with this position because we're gonna do double tabletop to really target your core for core stability. Inhale, five, and five, blow. Five, in, and five, blow. Feel the burn. And then to challenge more, you can straighten your knees. Someday, if you can do this, join me. Five breaths in, and five breaths out. Five breaths in, and five breaths out. Five breaths in, and five breaths out. Last set, in, and five breaths out, and down. Whoo, feel the burn, and hands up. Let's stretch our low back and your neck. Turn your head to the right, hands to the side, and knees to the left. Feel the stretch on your low back. Take a deep breath, and blow through your mouth, and blow. That was lovely, hundreds, and it's nice to stop and feel your body not to overwork it and to, that could cause neck and back pain to slowly build it up because we're still beginners right now i don't want you to hurt yourself by proving that you can do more it's about quality and not quantity that's the beauty of pilates you can pace yourself slowly build your core muscles without hurting your spine and your joints it's not about showing off what you can do it's about feeling your body feeling your core making sure they're stable enough enough to progress okay after this we're gonna do roll up so hands overhead so roll up is you're gonna pull yourself off reaching your toes from this position making sure you're starting from a neutral spine you can slide your hand underneath on your small of your back because if you start in a flattened position, you're going to hurt yourself. Making sure you're in neutral spine. You engage your core by taking a deep breath. Tighten your abdominal muscles. And slowly go up and blow. 
and slowly reach for your toes, head down. Feel the stretch of your neck and your low back. Pull yourself, hold there, take a deep breath. Slowly sit up straight. It's important to straighten your spine. This is like helping your spine to get straighter and stronger. Take a deep breath. Chuck, um, ch tuck your chin in. So you slowly go down one vertebrae at a time with your breaths and blow. And try not to plop down the mat. If you plop down, it means you're still weak on the other part of your core muscles, the deep spinal muscles, and that's fine. And the more you practice, the better, as long as you don't hurt your neck and back. So you take a deep breath through your nose, belly button in, and slowly go up, not using momentum, but control. But if you're using momentum in the beginning, as long as you're not hurting, that's fine. At least you're trying. So you take a deep breath, then sit straight, always straighten yourself up first before going down your chin in to protect your neck muscles and you take a deep breath and then slowly go down one vertebrae at a time we have 33 vertebrae so you're gonna slowly lower that down and then overhead with your hands to stretch and lengthen your spine so you take a deep breath through your nose belly button in and up again gently Just pull your stomach in touch your toes and slowly you can feel yourself getting lower now and reaching your knees with your head if you can't reach with your head that's fine you're gonna slowly build it up straighten your spine take a deep breath tuck your chin in again and slowly go down one vertebrae at a time with your breaths and blow breath through your nose belly button in and blow and if you're getting tired it's okay to stop and move forward with this video and you can always go back and slowly build up your repetitions and doing the roll up sit up straight and head, put your head down chin tuck and slowly go down with your breath and blow abdominal muscles and slowly go down one vertebrae at a time the slower the better the more control you have last one take a deep breath through your nose and lift reach for your toes inhale through your nose belly button in sit up straight chin tuck and then Take a deep breath. This is the last one. Belly button in and down slowly and blow. Beautiful. Now we can lift your both legs up, toes pointing you. And now we'll do small circles. Take a deep breath 10 times clockwise. Belly button in and blow. Inhale through your nose and blow button in and blow core stability control and now we're gonna do counterclockwise take a deep breath the slower the better the more you have control inhale and blow belly button in feel your core you can put your hand in your stomach feel it working hard strong and healthy and down blow now overhead we're gonna do single leg straight face up with your right and reach with your right take a deep breath and blow down slowly and control same side first take a deep breath lift warming up your hips more control and steady with your core and blow inhale through your nose belly button in engage make your abdominal tight call that abdominal bracing and blow Take a deep breath through your nose, tighten it, and blow. And now we're gonna alternate left hand with your right leg. It's like scissoring and down. Um, Crisscrossing for your obliques, the muscles on the side of your ribs and your lower ribs area to have a nice definition of your waist. 
inhale belly button in diagonally and down blow other side right and left and down blow and now you can lift your shoulder up and reach and stretch it out for the scissoring to stretch one small quick stretch one two and then switch it up in the air and blow one two take a deep breath and blow slowly i'm not touching the floor i'm keeping it up for stability take a deep breath one two and alternate and blow one two right leg inhale and left and blow stretch one two switch inhale and blow feel burner for breath for stability breath in two more to go and right and blow and down rock side to side feel that love the stretch and now lift your leg up and we're gonna do double leg circle and blow belly button in slow and control inhale and blow belly button in and blow inhale blow counterclockwise take a deep breath and blow belly button in breath through your nose belly button. and now we are going to do some stretching side to side and blow if you can put your hands over here you can stretch it out and blow take a deep breath belly button in and blow hold it and swing side to side and back to the center and blow and now letting go of your hands open take a deep breath belly button in and blow take a deep breath and down feel a lovely stretch on your hip groin and hold it there and reach forward five four three two one hold it for core stability and blow and now we're gonna roll like a ball head down chin tuck feet elevated off the mat and you take a deep breath tuck your neck and slowly roll back so you take a deep breath through your nose belly button in and blow inhale through your nose chin tuck and blow feel a lovely massage on your spine you take a deep breath and down and blow inhale belly button in down and blow keep your back straight when you go up take a deep breath belly button in and blow last one inhale and blow now we're gonna do single leg stretch hug your left knee keep your right leg straight slowly stretch your hip first feel that lovely rotation clockwise outward and now the other way around stretch it out and now we're gonna switch to the right and do the same thing Mobilize your hips. Feels a lovely stretch. And now counterclockwise, take a deep breath and blow and switch left and then right. Take a deep breath, belly button in, engage your core muscles and blow. Inhale and blow. Engage your core muscles. Take a deep breath through your nose, belly button in and blow. Inhale through your nose and blow. And now with your hand, behind your head and twist touching your elbow on your knee and twist other side take a deep breath belly button in and blow inhale and blow take a deep breath and blow belly button in feel your core burning for stability and control make sure your neck you're not pulling with your hands with your elbows using your core but if your neck is hurting you can always just do this but you can progress twisting five four three two and one and down good job lift stretch it out hold it there keep your knee straight and circle small circle Take a deep breath, belly button in, and blow, inhale, 
and blow belly button in and blow counterclockwise take a deep breath if your back is hurting bend your knee and control it's about control on your core it's not about repetitions it's about making sure you're doing it everything correctly and now let's go to the left and circle take a deep breath and then challenge lower it but if it's too much because of tightness on your hamstrings you can always progress and then counterclockwise take a deep breath and bend it's about quality it's not about how you can do it making sure you're not hurting yourself and stretch a little bit feel that pull gentle stretch on your hamstrings other side pull those pointing you to get that stretch and blow now we're gonna do some double leg raise so you're gonna slowly lift up and lift blow slowly overhead with your hands and slowly go down and blow belly button in take a deep breath up and reach and blow overhead slowly go down and blow take a deep breath lift and overhead last one and down and now we're gonna cool down now hugging both knees stretch butterfly put your feet together and then slowly open and swing side to side feel the stretch on your groin and your hamstrings and straighten it out for your hamstrings back to the center open bend and butterfly take a deep breath open kick back to the center open bend and feet together take a deep breath open straighten your knee up straighten stretch your hamstrings together open bend and down and rock side to side feel that lovely stretch on your spine and your legs take a deep breath open straighten together your feet open bend and feet together and blow side to side take a deep breath open kick and now we're gonna do rolling like a ball again but in this position so you're gonna take a deep breath and slowly go up with your core so this is the progression of rolling like a ball in a v position tuck your chin and back and blow and the inhale and blow up and blow control take a deep breath tuck your chin inhale and blow inhale and blow v position inhale and blow inhale and blow take a deep breath and blow two more take a deep breath and blow core engagement so you can go up take a deep breath and blow last one take a deep breath and blow and hold it last one to hold it in this position in the v take a deep breath and hold it there last one take a deep breath and blow hold it five four three two one and blow what a lovely stretch on your spine and that's it that was a lovely 50 minute pilates workout please join me again next week for a 55 minute workout until we reach the 60 minute thanks again for joining me for this lovely 50 minute core stability workout please like and subscribe my channel Ring the notification bell for future updates just like this one. I upload videos every Wednesdays for Pilates and Physical Therapy Treatment Plans, Fridays for Advanced Pilates or some Yoga, and Sundays for Beginners. I also have social media you can follow, Instagram, Facebook, and Reddit. Thanks again for watching. 
See you next week for the 55 minute. Have a great and healthier you. Bye.